Can I be first? Gay Tan is right up in there, okay? I bet you that. <laughs> Let me go look. We are live, y'all. We had to um we have the grandson with us um this week. I had to it's, feed him. It's spring break, so we we off we way off schedule. We have to make sure that the grandchild gets fed, okay? Look who's first. Gay Tan. Followed so, closely so, by Ann Ryan and, and Julie Jones. So guess what? It's amazing how the energy in your household changes when you have someone younger in the household. You're not used to having like the youthfulness. But oh my it's God. it's fun, okay? I'm having a blast, okay. I like to get into the minds of the youth, okay? See Wait. what they're thinking nowadays. <laughs> hey. <sighs> It's just what? a whole nother level, y'all. So sorry, we apologize for being late. You know, family stuff. We got we got the grandkid with us this week. So yep. Don Connor said, "Yay, I found Hold you." On. Don 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 has been. Let me let me just shout out to Don. Don because Don, Don has been viewing the channel. Okay. Don has been viewing the channel and um. John, D John, John, <laughs> John. John. Well, after that, she won't be. John, John. <laughs> Don, she's like, and after this, I won't be viewing your channel anymore. <laughs> Don, Don has been looking at all the videos and commenting. I, Don, I absolutely love you. Well, welcome to our crafty family, Don. Sorry for calling you John. My jaws are all messed up. Okay. <laughs> So thanks, Dawn. Because of you, my YouTube numbers are up, okay? Stephanie Mormon says, I'm organizing some new uh, cutting guys. Good for you. Stamps, perfect timing. Good for you, Stephanie. I tell you what, you're talking about the grandson kids. Now, he's 11, and he's almost eyeball to eyeball with Tracy, right? And But he's still a, a young 11, you know what I mean? He's 11, 11. And it was so funny. We went to the, uh, we went shopping, right? And uh, so he likes to look at the list and just hurry up and get stuff and just get out of there, right? I like that, though. He's like me, okay? And then I said, Tracy's like, go get my potato chips. And he's like, come on, let's go. So we went over there and, he, and it, it had a whole aisle of just potato chips. He's getting ready to look. Like, he thinks he's getting ready to pick out some potato chips. And I said, no, these are the ones Tracy likes. And it's, it's the lightly salted. Potatoes. It's like potato chips with just it's the like, here's uh, like they just it's Bill, pretended to put some salt on it. It's oh, Lay's on. low salt potato chips, okay? Right, but this but this is what he says. I said this is the one Tracy wants, and he kind of looked, he looked at, at the potato chips, then he looked at me, and then he, he looks back, he goes, Are you sure? And then he goes, I said, Yes, man, that's the one she wants. He goes, How exciting. <laughs> Chips alone. Ah, I laugh so hard. <laughs> Leave my chips alone. Y'all over here just, you know, it's always good to share a story. See, see where these young minds. I like the low salt lace potato chips. Is anyone else with me? I don't like the the dragon fire breathing. <laughs> That's, That's what he likes. Potato chips. Okay. <laughs> he likes the potato chips so hot. That your your mouth starts burning like three inches before it hits your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! So y'all are probably like, okay, so what we're doing today? <laughs> hey, Marcia Burton is on here. Gay Tan, I'm actually, glad to thumbs, see you. I thumbs up myself for a change. So y'all, I have these these empty containers, right? And I wanted to make them into something that matches my uh, those embellishment um, books that we had created, right? So I was like, ooh, this is cute, but it would be cute to have a matching container for this. So I have no idea. I have, all I know is I want to cover this, okay? And you can hash it out in your mind and hash it out in your mind all you want. But until you actually start to do it, that's when it'll happen. So I'm trying to transform this into something that matches 
the um the books that we did so if you have like these little plastic containers empty containers i just can't just take these and throw them away i think these will make either nice gifts to mail to someone like once i put everything together maybe put some some ephemera or some uh, embellishments in here and send it on to someone what do y'all think let me see what the measurement is on there. Y'all are so sweet. Look, y'all are the bomb.com. And here's why I'm all over the place today. Because y'all came up there on Craft Roulette, cheered us on, and to all the Craft Rouletters that are on here right now who are now also mindless crafters as well, kudos to y'all. Y'all submitted those cards and broke a record. 207 episodes in, y'all broke the record, okay? So kudos to all of y'all who watched, who submitted cards at 473, I think, 473. The record was 471, I think Gina K had it, I believe. Yeah, I think it was Gina K um, and May May were the, the leaders, and y'all came in on our episode and submitted cards um, and so and broke a record. So kudos to y'all, okay? Absolutely. Even me awesome. and John Pounds and Norma Watson's husband did something. Yep, I mean, y'all, the husband. <laughs> so you look, know we were ready. The, uh, the husbands were up in here, okay? Junior, she calls him Junior. Oh, good, Marcia. She said she's feeling good, starting to see the fog lift. Well, we're praying for you, Marcia. It's been a rough, rough couple of years, you know? Rough couple of years. Hey, Kim Worthman. So, yeah, I'm going to cover this. Let me get my, my stuff out because I still even have to finish, you know, putting stuff in here and filling up this. This is the Masculine Embellishment book. But I also want to make a matching one to this. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be cool? So let me get my, um, I got my glue gun. I should have, I should have plugged in my, my, I was going to say my glue gun. <laughs> I'm going to plug in my, my glue gun. gun. So y'all, me and Bill were out in the yard. We went to the gym yesterday, early in the morning. Man, I had the nerve to say <laughs> <laughs> I had the nerve to say well since we're already sweaty and in our gym clothes let's go ahead and, and um get the yard together clean up the yard she's like I know we have I a... said we don't have to have the landscape that's exactly account. what she said we can we, we can... can do it ourselves please y'all landscape are coming okay Tracy because... was halfway through she's like Bill I'm I... sorry I would do whatever I have to do <laughs> to I not have to, to... To cut this grass, okay? The, I was like, we don't need a landscape, but we can just we're on a we we're on a budget. We, oh, this morning Tracy was walking so stiff, I thought she was practicing <laughs> the robot or something, okay? <laughs> her arms are straight, trying to move. She was trying to do something with her hair and her arms it was straight. It looked like she was trying to bend them. <sighs> it looked so ridiculous. Shannon said she does not like gardening at all. This had some embellishments in it. So that's where that came from. This okay. had some embellishments. Someone asked, where did you get the container from? Tracy T is so you'll be in. So you'll be shocked at how many containers you'll have, you, that you actually have. Um, since I order stuff a lot, um, you'll be sh surprised. Like hairpins and maybe hair clips. Look at your containers, because all those containers can be transformed into something. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Tracy. Tracy T is at work sneaking in. Ooh, Tracy T, you better stop. Tracy. Sarah Slagle says. Look, I said, because the hedges need to be cut. So I said, Bill, I'll do the lawn. I'll, I can cut the lawn while you do the hedges, because the hedges was a lot, okay? It was. But... I don't know why the, the lawnmower felt extra heavy to me. Because you hadn't dated it in about two years. I was like, what on earth? 
you can tell it's been a while. We couldn't even find the gas. We're like, where, where you put the gas in again? Oh, on the top right here. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Yeah. It was it was something else. Right. See, look. Now, this right here, this was the top to a candle. Look how pretty that is. I don't even remember what candle it was. I used this for my glue gun droppings. So any glue gun droppings, I use this. So talk about waste, not wasting anything. There you go. That's how I, I keep my glue gun stuff from dropping. Yes, Helen Helen loves to create. A, it's a push mower. And it, uh, check this out. The mower is, is self-propelled. <laughs> it's steel. Please. Even being self-propelled, okay? Oh, child. I need a self-propelled, self-propelled, okay? I was like, uh, I, was like, I looked at Bill from across the yard, right? <laughs> I had already felt like that before we started. He, he was okay? all over there doing the hedges, so I was like, I looked at him from afar. I was like, we ain't doing this no more. I said, go call up. Uh, Somebody. Go call Jose. Anybody. Okay. He... From his landscaping, he does such a good job. Jose. I said, get him. Jose. Find out when he can do our yard. And then I just we just send him over to do my mother's yard. Whoo. Mm-mm. Y'all ain't gonna have me out in the yard. And it, and the thing was, it was still morning. It was overcast, so it looked like it was gonna rain. There was no sun out. I'm like, this is perfect. My body is heating up. <laughs> My body is heating up already. And Helen says, go get them muscles. <sighs> no, go get, a girl. Helen, I'm gonna go get me the muscles in the in the air conditioner. I'm gonna go gym. get me a lawn chair and sit out and watch the watch the man cut. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! While drinking a tequila sunrise. We'll or put down okay. some of the um We'll, we'll put yard work is no joke, but I used to love it because right, it, it really Hunter. keeps me in shape. That's why I liked it. But I'm like, mm -mm, I'm not to just go to the gym with the air conditioning and exactly the big, and the big fans. I love cutting grass. Right. That's, that was a thing. I love putting the lines. It's almost like crafting. So I would go up this way with the lawn one, and I go back this way, and then I go back up this way, and I love to see the lines. Now you just want to finish. Look, look, this is how it was going. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was going. <laughs> <laughs> it was like this, okay. And then we had this thing in the middle, and all of a sudden Tracy's like going around the circle. Look, like I that, was like, and, and you know, it's really getting back to the gym. You know, <laughs> the gym people know that everybody's gotten so lazy that they have to put about 30 TVs in there because they know if they don't have TVs in the gym, no one's going to come. Because we gotten so lazy, we can't even exercise unless we watch TV. Not me. I, I don't I don't watch TV, babe. I do. I listen. <laughs> I listen. And, and, and that's why. Okay. Then I get confused because <laughs> I, can't, I can't figure out which one to watch. <sighs> the sound is off, but you can read the captions. That's why I look, watch about five or six of them at a time. Wait a minute. We'll be having snow tonight. <laughs> Who's that? Where's Myra, Where's Myra live in the, in the North Pole somewhere? Myra, where are you? <laughs> It is April, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I mean, never to move wherever Barbara was from, okay? I have an empty house, nigga. Oh, uh, Barbara, baby. That's okay, okay? I'll pass, okay? Look, I'm ready. To, I'm like, look, y'all ain't got Oh, my God, here. Myra, I'm from Michigan. She says Milwaukee. I know it's cold Damn. there. I, and the thing is, I have a shipment of art glitter glue coming to the house. That's the thing. The shipment of art glitter glue should be here by the uh, either by the end of the week. So that that's a whole other thing. I'm like, ooh. Myra, I was supposed to go visit a, a relative somewhere in Milwaukee one time, and she sent us pictures on the road of the road, and they and the snow had. <laughs> was like walls on some of the streets. I said, oh, no, no, no. I can't come. I had to wait for summer. Carmina, that is hilarious. Carmina said, Tracy, you, you were doodling in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> going this way, you know, this way. She, I, I thought she had, was getting early dementia or something. I said, what look, is she I was doing going around in circles. I, 
And then I was waiting for Bill to look at me. I just stopped. I stopped dead in my track, waiting for him to look over at me. And he was looking like... I was like, going through my own problems. Okay. I said, Bill, <laughs> I said, you best to get Jose on the phone because... Um, <laughs> Matter of fact, I actually missed the bush and I saw it this morning. I said, Tracy, I missed the bush. We need to get that. She's like, call Jose. <laughs> That's just what she said. She said, uh -uh. It was like I missed the spot. We'll see him next week. Just wait, let it, let it be. I felt it. My whole 61 year old body felt it, okay? And I'm not afraid to say it. Okay. So. I was going to call Helen Love. She's great. I think she likes yard work. Mm. Come on, Helen. <laughs> Helen, like, child, please. Okay, you call Jose. Let's go ahead. You <laughs> better call Jose. Call him. <laughs> <laughs> and tell him that grass needs to be cut. <laughs> cut. <laughs> Y'all are too funny. Okay, let me find some paper here now so I can... This would look cute on the... I this, love this, this paper this right here. That would look cute. Let's see whatever we, what else we got. This looks like something I would see like from the future. Like in a spaceship or something. I could take some of these, right? Ooh. <laughs> and Ryan said, what was in that grass? <laughs> We just over here just a laughing up a storm, aren't we? Crystal. What was in the grass? So you know what? Even if I wanted to take these scraps and just start, you know, gluing them all around and making something out of it. Let me let me see what what's the size of this. I know, right, Gay Ten? She said, imagine if y'all didn't go to the gym, how much worse it would have been for us. I, I was hurting. I was hurting. So this is about five, five and a half, right? Five and a half. Stephanie. Five and a half by, no, wait a minute. Five and, let me, let me go to the eighths. Just mm. to. <laughs> <laughs> five and. No, but look, Start here's how you do okay. it, Bill. Look, five, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths. Eighth. So you're gonna put something in there? My husband's not listening. He must have had too much. So I was Stephanie Williamson was messing with me, so I was reading her stuff. Bill was supposed to be making a card, Stephanie, wasn't he? He said, "Is Bill going to be making a card?" It'll probably be uh, Don't, Thursday. You said something before. Yeah, but now we, we I want to see what you do with this now. Mm, you see what I'm saying, y'all? Thank you, Betty McQueen. Five and a half. Okay, let's do half because I think it would be too much to go over this. Yeah, so we'll do a half. Four, uh, no, not four. Three and three quarters. You know what I'm saying, Carmina? Five and a half. <laughs> Bill trying to skirt the issue, okay? He trying to, he trying to. Carmina said it was the weeds in the gray. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh my goodness, y'all. Well, there are some weeds out there. Got... <laughs> I'm hoping none of them are the wrong ones. <laughs> oh, look, promises, promises, Bill. Exactly. <laughs> Cindy Piper said, good morning. Weed? Cindy Piper, like, what kind of conversation am I coming up on? Okay, so three, look, I'm still just, okay, three and three quarters. So we're going to... We need to cut our paper three and three quarters. Yeah, and watch then it. the long ways. Three and three quarters. I'm with you so far. About five and a half. Hmm. Huh. Trying to think if that would cover everything. Five and a half. I don't want to go all the way over the edge. Okay, we'll say five and a half. And guess what? If it doesn't work out, then I'll know next time, right? If it doesn't work out. <laughs> Truth and Reason says that she's working from home and listening from the bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, Milani would be like, oh, your inside voice, yeah, Mr. Bill. 
Uh, Sydney mm -hmm. Piper says, what are we doing today in the craft room? We're, make, we're make, I'm making a matching box. embellishment box, okay? At least that's that's the, what I'm going with, okay? So this is going to unfold live. And I'm using the masculine paper, the digital paper. So if y'all have this paper, it's, it's so beautiful. This has the patchwork on it. Now this one, if you notice... Something went wrong in the printing, but I could not throw this away. I was like, I'm keeping it. Hey, I'm keeping it. And I'm I'm gonna maybe I'll use that one. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, first and then what it sound like you were going. It's Donner, Blitzen, something, Donner, whatever the words are. <laughs> so it's too many to write this, remember to write all the comment and Cupid and somebody else. That would have been cute too, huh? That was a lot of rain years, remember to write all the it? There was Cupid and... I thought it was Comet and Cupid. Those are only okay, two. I'm trying to help you with this song. But I, I only okay, remember look, the first two, look, though. Look it up. Okay, hold on. Let me finish this part. Hold on. He's over here trying to correct me, and I'm trying to help I'm trying him to out. correct you, and I don't even know myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me see. Why am I even trying to look up a Christmas song? When it's I'm almost... looking up. I'm looking up. There was. I know someone knows. Okay, here it is. It's Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. I thought his name was Vixen. Oh, well, that's... why are you why are you singing in like a, a, in a droll, drab, angry voice? There was. Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous most reindeer, reindeer of all? <laughs> In April. Okay, let's see. Now back to this. <laughs> okay. Only on Mindless Crafting do we sing. We get to sing Christmas songs. <laughs> Sonia says, Sonia Chris says, Tracy, what you talking about that messed up paper is beautiful. This one right here. The patchwork white one, right? <sighs> Hold up. You got to do the spaceship paper. This one. I know, but I'm going to put tags over it. Oh, I got you. Okay. But that's okay. I mean, you know, Bill, you said you're not crafting. Yeah, but. Mm, see, y'all? All of a sudden now. Then I saw Stephanie Williamson, and I figured I'd compromise by telling you what to do. <laughs> Stephanie, hey, Stephanie, I walked through the landmine. I'm about to, I better start walking as fast as I can to the doghouse, huh? <laughs> Okay, so here's the other thing you can do. Look, you can take this, put it down on here, and you can trace around it. That easy. That's exactly what I would do. Actually, hold up. I'm so lazy. I probably would just glue this on here and then just cut around it with scissors. Why would I not be surprised at that? I mean, I just wouldn't. <laughs> so if I cover the bottom, if I cover the top, I have to cover the bottom too. What do y'all think? Cindy Piper has to go get some coffee. Helen says, wrap it like a gift. Sonny says, it's somebody got, help you me. Know what, what in the world is Tracy trying to do? It's got too much, like, little... Parts and, and components that oh, would, yeah, yeah. That if I tried to wrap it as a gift, so I would have to take this in. It's like when I used to do those little, um, I don't know if y'all saw the video where I, I did the tic tac box, the little tic tac campaign, container, container. <laughs> I know I didn't see that one. 
<laughs> the tic tac campaign. <laughs> that was an that's, that was an original. Woo, okay, so since Bill said to use this one, I was trying to use something a little bit more muted. Okay, that but way, you can go with your go with that your, way. I could. Um, oh no, do go with your thing. Here. Don't do mine. No, it's okay. No, you got yes. I'm messing up with your vision. You're always messing up with my vision. Whoa. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! And so it begins. And so it begins. Prayers, Carmen. Carmen's having a whole bunch of tests done right now. He says, keep her in your Oh, own yes. Prayers. We pray that everything turns out well. Kim Sam says, can you put it on the inside? I'm going to put it on the inside. too. Oh, you mean like if I take this and put it on the inside of here. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see what that would look like. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and measure this out. M. Sims. If this doesn't go right. We are blaming on M. Sims. <laughs> well, M. Sims said. She said. <laughs> Amy K., when she's supposed to be in a meeting right about now. M. was like, child, please. Okay. Okay, so five and a half, right? Is okay. that what I said? Five and a half. Ursula Moore. <sighs> Five and a half. Let's see. Stephanie says now you'll be able to see glue from the outside though, unless you do both. That, you know what? That's what I, the exact thing I was thought thinking about was that you can see glue. Um, so I can do one going this way, right? This is why I love doing this like during the live streams because you get to have like feedback. So I can do one going this way, right? That's the cover part. And then I would need to have one on the outside going this way. Or if you have double-sided paper, then it's different. But it just look, doesn't look as vibrant to me when it's like this. It's not as vibrant when I, now that I'm looking at it through here. Yeah, that's, that's the part right there. It's not as vibrant. But that's a good idea because, you know, you're just sharing... We're sharing a whole bunch of ideas to see what the outcome would be. So that's what it looks like when it's, yeah. Okay, so, okay, so five and a half. Let me just go ahead and cut this thing. I'm over here uh, doing stuff when I could just use my paper trimmer. Carmina says, Tracy, decoupage the box and add washi tape. You know what, Carmina, I was thinking on washi tape to the finish. You could do that too, yep. That way you could really That's a get good it all idea. in. I thought about that. That's a good idea. I meant to say that, but see how Storm started messing with me. It's her <laughs> fault. Okay. Mm, sure, you were going to say it. Though. I was. Zell. Now go get my Mod Podge, babe. Uh, where is it? Right here, right? Look at Bill knowing his way around my craft room. But you moved it. You That's kind of dangerous. Reorganized it. it used to be right here. Oh, it is right here. It is, yeah. I kind of left it in the same Kind of left it in the same spot. That looks small, doesn't it? Three and three quarters. Three and three quarters. Let's see. It looks cute already. That's a nice pattern, isn't it? That's a beautiful pattern, babe. It reminds me of the future. And that little thing looks like a door. I can walk through the door. It's into my imagination and dreams. All right, let's see what happens when we when we uh when we try mod mod podge in this. Mod podge. Mod podge. Um I need a brush to put this on, babe. Hey, where's that at? Bill's like, let me get you this. Where's the brush? I'm not gonna bring you no brush. Where, is it? Where can I find it? 
Uh, there should be one in, in the same yeah. container with the. Okay. Oh, you got this. You got some baby ones too. You got this one here too. I just want the brush, man. He's showing me everything that's in the container <laughs> except the brush. Butter brush. <laughs> Ah, okay, let me try to ah that's funny. <laughs> that is hilarious. Here goes something. Here. He's like, here goes something. Yeah, the brush. <laughs> <sighs> now you're gonna have to get me a bowl. And thank you, Amy. Birthday, birthday says lots of ways to decorate the box. There's a lot of ways to do this. I'll wait for you, babe. To do what? I need something to put this in. Once I dip oh. it, I have to put it in a container. Oh, okay. There might be a bowl somewhere around here. Hi, Shauna. Shauna said, look, I'm trying to sneak in. And you calling my name out on TV. I'm in the witness protection program. Now they know where I am. All right, let me go find it. I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking. You're, you're wandering aimlessly. Because okay? I don't even know where to start. And so the, live is, the live is only two hours. Bill's wandering <laughs> aimlessly. No, it's okay, I'll get it. I was walking around the circles, y'all. I didn't know where to start, okay? <laughs> Zell. It's good to have you here, Shauna. Amy, I understand you say my joints hate bending. Please. Oh, Sarah Slade, why well, didn't even know that? Hey, Trace. Sarah Slago says sometimes on a slick container, you have to rough up the surface a little in order to adhere anything to it. Well, there you go. Bill, go find me some sanding, such and such. <laughs> Only thing I can think is the foot scraper. If it comes off, guess what? It, if it comes off, I'll just glue it back on. <sighs> and I look like I had used this before. So let's move some of this stuff out of the way until I'm ready to use it. And get ready for the creativity to begin. MCM says you ready could, for the creativeness. You, you can try fingernail files. Oh, that's not the right one, is it? <laughs> Which paper is it? It's the one with the door. I'm just going to move some of these out of the way, y'all. Sarah Slego says crafting is all about trial and error, so do your thing, girl. Yeah, and when I used to do the bottles, you know, it, it sticks pretty... Well, that was the napkins on the bottles. This is different. A little bit of paper on the bottles. And um, I even did some ribbon on these, too. But look how it just already starts to look good, right? Hmm. All right, y'all. Let's Well, let's go ahead and, and have at it, right? I think Carmina... If it goes downhill, <laughs> well, there's plenty of people to blame, okay? No, you just try again. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and the paper is very light, so, you know, it'll, it'll do its thing. Very, very light. It'll adhere extremely good because it's it 
If I was to stop here, uh, it looks good. If I was to just stop right there. But you couldn't do that. There's no way you Look how cute right that there. looks, just stopping right there. It's nice and sturdy. Look at that, y'all. Get your papers. Patricia Costa. You could do a master board one, too, if you wanted to. Patricia talking about if it goes downhill, just blame it on Bill. Blame it on Bill. Don't blame it on Bill. Blame it on Bill. Don't blame it on Bill. <laughs> Let's just blame it on Bill. Don't blame it on Bill. Cause he's over the hill. I'm not over the <laughs> hill. Hear what I say. Hear what I say. Look at this. This is a masculine thing. I can't put gems on it, can I? Oh, man. What? It's supposed to be masculine inspired, you know? You still work out. And I'm putting I'm thinking of putting a gem trim on it. Thank you, Donna Sally, for telling Anita Dawson that she's right on time. <laughs> Anita says I'm running late as I had a doctor's appointment this morning. You're on God's time, okay? So you can never be late. So you got a little curvature here. Look at this. You got a curvature right there, you know. So I'm just testing out different ways of, of possibly doing this, y'all. It's definitely getting excited. I think this would look really pretty, Stephanie though. Stephanie loves bling, Tracy. Stephanie and Look and, at that. And Bertha, they're blingers. Let's go ahead and, and, cover, and cover the inside. Thank you, Carmina. <laughs> Zell says y'all got me looking at junk mail, okay? <laughs> look, all those little containers. I got some containers in here. I was like, ooh, this will look cute. She you said know. she was about to throw away a Verizon flyer. She got it in mail. So mm -hmm. she realized, you know what? If you look at it like this, I turn the head sideways. Mm. <laughs> You can put gems in it. You can, there's so much you can do with that. Three and three quarters. It's nice and sunny out, Bill. Good time, good time, good day for working in the yard. <sighs> you know what? Check this out, y'all. My grandson is over here. A lot of you, the early people know it, but he's over here. And for the first two days, he must have, he had on YouTube on his favorite shows. But he has a game system. Like, it, I don't know what it's called, but it's on his our little iPad. We have no idea what it's called. He does that and watch YouTube at the same time. For 20 hours straight, and finally Tracy was like, look. No, it wasn't 20 hours straight. It was just about 20, though. Mm -hmm. He slept about four hours. It wasn't. Day. I had to go to have that boy take a shower and do some regular uh, human interaction type stuff. <laughs> oh, yes. Right now, Bertha, he's, I can promise you, he's playing video games right now. But then Tracy says, look, I need you to watch this Martin with us. He had never heard of Martin. And he tried to negotiate with us, okay? For just 30 minutes, and then I can go back to the, what? And Tracy's like, let's add up the time you've been watching. It became about eight hours, in it? It, it was, it, it was, was quite a, a bit. <laughs> and somehow you're going to say it was quite a bit. Eight hours okay. for 30, 30 minutes? He actually did like Martin, though. He was laughing and trying to play Right, off. after he kind of like... <laughs> Let's have family conversation. Let's interact with each other. Let's get to to really know you. What's inside that head? Like, what's school going on in school? Let's have a conversation. So, if it's one thing 
kids will tell you that there's certain things that they don't want to do. But there's a certain approach to get the kid to do what you want them to do without them even knowing. Before you know it, he was having a good time with the conversation with the family and having taco night and all kind of stuff. Myra, I, yeah. I do understand. Marvin Miller says it takes me three days to do my yard. One day for the front, two days for the back, and I don't care what my neighbors have to say. They better be happy you cutting it. They don't like it. They, you're more than welcome to use this lawnmower. Here you go. No, you're welcome to hire someone for me. <laughs> I'm using, I'm just, look, I'm using art glitter glue on this, y'all. Look, <laughs> I'm going to use art glitter glue on this, see how that works. See how that sticks. And so I had to end up cutting this a little bit short. Only because it has that little, you see that little thing right there? Oh, that's going to be cute. So I'm just using that on the inside. Hi, Shay. Hey, Shay. Shay has a fever. Prayers yeah, for Shay, you, Shay. Uh, Judy R. said kids do get attached to game systems. Yeah, but you got to, you know, look. Nancy Lee. I need to get inside that head and see what's going on inside that little head of yours, okay? Nancy says, I watch YouTube crafting videos on my kids' old Xbox. <laughs> so you can take all, if you want to do it with the bottom, you see how that is? So I'm going to still cover the bottom of this. I'll still cover the bottom. I'll mod podge the bottom. So it looks cute. Or actually, here's what I should have done. Here's what I should have done on and as far as this part. I could have taken that paper on the inside and turned it. You know what I'm saying? Like turned it over. And so that would have, you know. That would have had it like where it wasn't any paper on the bottom, but it'll work out. Either way, you know what, y'all? It's going to work out. Yeah, so what ended up happening with the grandson, y'all, is Ariel got her canvas out and the got some paints and got a canvas for him. And he sat down and started painting. And guess what? He enjoy he enjoys drawing, but he said he doesn't draw as much. And I was like, well, why not? You do it so good. And I, he looked like he was wondering, like, yeah, why don't I do that anymore? So I was like, well, you're going to be drawing some stuff. So I do have a book. Oh, I, I need to show them what book we have for him um, with the drawing prompts. That red book downstairs? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get, get that so I can show it. I got to show you all this book. It's It's actually... I may have to get me a, me a one for myself. So he loves to draw. So we got him this book. Figuring, you know what? He would love this. But, but if you in, in front of the TV, we can't, you can't do any drawing. The stuff that you love. If you have the device all the time, you can't do the stuff that you love. You know? So, of course... Yeah. Hey, Sarah. The pin for the glue is close to, oh, this. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, but other than that, he's having a wonderful time. So what I what I told him was, you know, in order for me to know what's going on with you, I have to have a conversation. And because I because I care. Because I care, um, you know, I want to know what what you're all about. I want to know about you and what you're doing and what's going on. You know, I said, we're making this week a memorable week. And so. Basically, in order for us to have a memorable week, I don't want my memorable week with you to be you playing games <coughs> like the whole week, you know? 
So I said, we're going to do things. We're going to go out and we're going to go on walks and we're going to, you know, um, take care of the pets. You know, just things that, you know, normal things. <laughs> My well, grandson is the same way. You have to tell... Tell him when it's time to do something else. When it's time to do something else. Yeah, I mean, you really do. I mean, I, I, you know, we only have him for spring break. And so I don't want my spring break, I don't want it to be me fighting for your attention with all these games, you know. And once he's away from the games, he's good. He's very engaging and his conversation is awesome and he loves science and, and, um, you know, he says he needs to work on his math, but he could be really good at math. He just has to, he just has to do more math. <laughs> it was so funny. Tracy says, Tracy was talking to him. He says, well, I'm not that good at such and such with math. And Tracy says, well, how often do you do it? She says, he goes, well, really not that much. Uh, he just says, does it in school. He's, she goes, well, that's why. <laughs> He's watching Simba right now. Simba, they're singing a song. So I was singing. He has a great singing voice. I was singing voice. the Simba song with him. He has a great uh, <laughs> he has a great singing voice. Seriously. His voice is very he has a beautiful voice. Kelly Werner, cold and rainy with snow coming here in West Wisconsin. Is it West Alice, Wisconsin? Everyone's asking Sarah how hubby is doing. I'm sure he's doing great by now. Bill had Matthew cracking up. We were cracking up with Matthew the other day. That's Sarah's husband, Bill. Bill had called him, and it was just hilarious, the two of them. <laughs> Listening to the two of them. Judy R., are you in Wisconsin also? Wisconsin is taking over. Of course, Shay. Oh. We all. Okay, are sending so, up your prayers. What else do I need to put on here? So I got this thing right here. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? Maybe I need one that's a different color. See that? See how it's working out, y'all? It's working out just fine. Uh, but you know what's really interesting? Adonis is all, that's my grandson. Adonis almost looks at books the way uh, maybe my son looked at v, like uh, VHSs and stuff like that. Because they do all their stuff on computers and stuff like that. Even the reading. You know, so to pick up a book is just like a oh, book. Yep, and I told him, I said, I want you to enjoy your time here, but I also don't want you to just be in front of the game, you know, like gaming like all the time where I can't even have a conversation with you you know so you you have to make sure that you put people ahead of technology otherwise you just never get to engage with each other the thing we like about our live streams is that we can engage with y'all you know technology does bring us together but we can talk and have conversations and pray for one another and just check on our friends Amy Cave is in the video game generation. She says, I love my video games. Because Amy, like just like our daughter, Chelsea, she's the same way. She she does the games. Her, the games she does 
She used to do that. What's that restaurant? Growing yeah. and she's chatting simultaneously. Right. And now her career is like based on that too. Well, yeah. with multiple people and they're collaborating on right. the same image oftentimes and writing collectively. Yeah, she used to be on those. She's been left forever since but, middle school. But at the same time, she knows how to engage with people. And I think that is my only thing is that you know, he has to, he needs to learn how to engage. You know what, Chris? I can see that. Chris says, Crystal says, studies show that video games train them to only accept short term gratification. Proof every question you ask, they have three word answers. Yeah, and I want more out of him. And he so, does have short answers. Sometimes. Right. And so when we, right, but when I disen, when I, um, have him disengage from the games and the TV where, you know, you're putting the family over gaming where you're able to like really have a conversation and engage with your grandma and your grandpa. That's where the magic happens. I think he yeah. has those short term answers because he just wants to hurt me, just say anything. To right. Her and, yeah, and I, seven. right. And I honed in on that. I was like, uh, uh, we're going, we're going to, um, we need to have a conversation. <laughs> and once you get him away from it, we're laughing and joking around and just having a, a good old time. Hi, Carol Curtis. So it looks like the art glitter glue works on here too, right? Our glitter glue works on here too. So it looks like everything's coming together. Yes, when they can show you something. Or when he talks about his drawing. Because when he told me, I don't I don't draw as much as I used to. And I'm like, man, that's something that he loved doing. But this was one of the gifts we had gotten for him. Was 200 drawing prompts. And so he gets to pick whatever he wants. Like on this page, it says a jackal. And so he has to draw uh, a jackal or a Poseidon. He loves stuff that's like science fiction type stuff. Um, look, draw a computer from the future. He would love that. He would love that. Hey, draw you know something what? upside down. Look at that. Isn't that something else? You know what's interesting? So is this is the book that he has and, and um, he's going to Oh, I would love this, the flamingo. His knowledge base about certain things is so it's, deep. And oh my goodness, it is really anything about science, the universe, animals, dragons, uh, reptiles, anything like that. Please, he would go so deep on you. Right. So this is the type of stuff I like to. And then once he's away from the game, he's so engaged in what he's doing. He drew a. I mean, he did. Uh, him and Ariel painted the other night on a canvas and he loved it he loved it and so i told him i said if i allow you to sit in front of the game the whole week while you're here on spring break with us i said that would almost seem that i don't want to i don't really care to engage with you and i said because i care to engage with you and i want to get to know what's going on in that 11 year old head and what's going on in school and what friends do you have in school and how do you like your teachers? I said, I need to have a conversation with you face to face, not while you're kind of half answering me questions <laughs> while looking at the TV and the gaming system. <laughs> so yeah, just limited amounts of time, you know, and he's gonna, he's enjoying himself. He's enjoying yeah, himself. I'm determined that he will enjoy he gives himself. The, he gives the best, best hugs. You know, like, it's just, when when we first, um, when we went to pick him up and he gave me that hug, it was just like, oh, I'm with, I'm with my grandparents. You know, like, <laughs> Grandma Tracy. Like, it was almost like a, a, a hug of like, I miss you kind of hug. Oh, thank you. And it's all done out of love. Like, I'll tell him, look, 
I love you and I want you, I want the best for you. And I said, I want to know about you. I want to know about you. I mean, I just, I just have a conversation. And, and when I talk to him, I talk to him face to face. I don't like yell and say, Hey, do it. Mm -mm. Because mm -hmm. I want him to know that I can get you to do stuff for me without me having to yell at you. Mm -hmm. Now, do I talk with somewhat of a, a firm voice, authoritative, like a little bit, if he doesn't start to like move on it, like, okay, come on. Which is usually within two seconds. <laughs> come on, we got yeah. to, mm -mm. but I always tell him, look, I care about you and I want you to be the very best you that you can be. Remember he said he was in a Y generation or something. He made up his own generation. Yeah. I said, I understand that. However, <laughs> my generation, I want to have conversations with you. Yeah, you would tell him no. <laughs> I don't. Said so you're bigger than this generation. Some, some of you were telling him. Putting the label on himself to say this is what my generation does. I said, don't limit yourself like that. Nope. He about to get it all this week, y'all. He about to get it all. <laughs> Crystal said, "That's right, Tracy." What'd she say? I didn't see Crystal. The tech can't give love, genuine love. Genuine love, right? I said, I am not going to fight with a device to get a hug from you. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to fight. I want a hug from you, and I need a hug from you. And I don't want you to have to tell me, oh, wait till this game is over. Which will be seven hours from now, okay? <laughs> <sighs> yeah. All right, I'm going to tell him, Amy, see what he says. What generation was he trying to classify himself? I can't remember. I really can't. Can he say the alpha generation? I don't even know. I can't remember what he's, he came he was with saying something. so much, I kind of disconnected. He is too funny. Okay. Ooh, Percy Jackson is something else. Okay. Percy Jackson, those books were like the thing. I used to do um, the Percy Jackson books. I used to do uh we had I had teenage book talk because that's a that's a uh, YA book. The Percy Jackson series, yeah. And we used to do book talks with those for the kids during the summer. Ali Moore said since he loves science, he was all about signing up for space camp, uh in Kennedy Camp at Kennedy Space. I then we thought about all kind of stuff. Yes, we have. Okay. Drawing, art, art. Um. We were talking about coding. Because he was talking about coding. Yeah, because when, when you tell me something you love, I hone in on it really quick. <laughs> like the girls, uh, Chelsea and Ariel had gone to a, um, a camp during the summer. Um, it was a science camp yeah. during the summer. A science and tech camp, and they absolutely loved it. And I think that's when they were in grade school. I'm looking for something I'm looking for here. Yo, those look, these really came out nice. Hmm? Yeah, I got it. Uh, trying to get these. Uh, Cause I can do anything. I was dancing last night and he started dancing. Did you notice that, babe? And you know what? Ariel is really, really good with kids. Ariel is no joke when it comes to kids. She's very um, hands-on. Kids just like, she just leads and the, kid, and the kids will follow. <laughs> I don't want to cover up all that pretty paper. No, it looks so is. cute. But I want to find, I have one that's like kind of that color. Oh, I think it might be in the book. <laughs> dee, 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 dee. Susan Tracy, she said, I'm so happy to be on. I've been gone for a few weeks. Oh, where 
have you been, Susan Tracy? <laughs> oh, where have you been, Susan, Susan Tracy? Tracy. <laughs> uh, oh, look at this. That's different. These are the embellishments that we did and put inside the book. Here Ryan says, Ariel must be like you. Oh, that's so sweet. Bertha she, says, well said, Tracy. She, you know what? She has the, um, even the teacher, when Ariel was younger, her teacher said, out of, like, there's so many kids in the class, right? And out of all the kids, everybody wants to 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 be near Aria or talk to Aria or just have a conversation with Aria. <laughs> when on, oh, when Andre was younger, I would sign him up for drawing classes at a junior college. He loved it and he did very well. Yep. Because once you really start to think about like have conversations with the kid, you see what they like. So let's, okay, maybe he likes tech. Maybe he wants to get into coding. You know, maybe there's like sports that he likes, you know. Um, it's just so many different things. I thought I had some of those little strips in here. Oh, you know what? It's the other book. It's the other one. This is cute though, but it had, it's just too much. You see that? It's just too much. Let's see. Okay, y'all, one of the new stamp sets, I, I forgot to tell y'all this, but one of the newer stamp sets is just about sold out. Um, so just wanted to let y'all know that the vertical one, uh, the vertical stamp set that we just released is, I think we may have about three left maybe from this. When I checked this morning, I was like, whoa. We might have about three left. This one would be good because it wouldn't cover it up so much, would it? See that? Huh. Donna, so fast. I, I get ready to try to put it in. Donna. Like... <laughs> three left. Uh... I need to start filling this book up. Okay. <laughs> I can't send this empty. I gotta fill that book up. Okay. Susan Tracy says, I've been busy with my sister. She's helping me downsize my house. Oh. Are you throwing away big stuff? Is it difficult to throw it out or are you holding on to it? She's like, get rid of this. And you're like, no. Are you good willing it? Garage sailing? Overthinking this. See, I've got these to choose from too. <laughs> So many choices. I'm trying to feel my arms, Tracy. Is that a good thing? Right in the forearm area. Mm -hmm. Exactly, Amy. That's the question. Amy's asking Susan, how do you determine what treasures to get rid of? Mm, that part. That's the part. Especially when it's yours. It's easy to say, point to your, your mate stuff. Let's get rid of that. 
Wouldn't it be no, your stuff? Your you mate's like, stuff. No, it's not. Yeah, it's your mate's. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Well, thank goodness I don't get rid of your stuff, right? <laughs> I'm just saying, it's easy. Do it like that. Mm -mm. Yep. I think this will work Ooh, better. Don Connor says Sam's has an Eco Tank 2840 on sale for 189. Oh so man. That's what she did. Oh man, that's like a really good price. Don was like, pow. She said she'll be there in two days. Oh wow. That's Sam's Club? Wow, I didn't know Sam. That's right, Sam's Club, Costco's, they have printers and stuff like that, don't they? Yeah, but they don't always run those sales. When they have no, them. I'm saying that, but they have, yeah. you know, that's that's really good. That's a great deal, Don. Wow. Don's like, I'm about to get me. I'm about to get my stuff. It's a little cute with buttons, wouldn't it? Linda Hoffman. You know what happened, y'all? I start thinking. Is that good? That's exactly what happened. I started thinking. And so once I started thinking, you see how that latch is just not bright enough. Start thinking a little bit too much. Now, if I still want to bring in that blue, I can. If I just right in the middle, or I can bring in this. I like the way this one looks. And if I put some, uh, if I put some actual, like, uh, a backing on it to make it a little bit thicker, it'll stand out more. Dawn is ready. More. She says she hadn't been able to print any of the digis that she's purchased. Oh, wow. That's why she's red tape. You are ready. You're gonna printer. have a good old time. You're gonna overdose on on, on on with your printer, don't. What's gonna be your first one? Which digital are, are you printing the first? <laughs> well, if you can't pick the first one, maybe the first two. <laughs> exactly. Oh, don't overthink it. Help us out. Miss it. What is that plastic case that you're using? You know how you buy something from the, um, you know, like one of the stores and you get like embellishments inside of it. I feel like it was on Amazon that I got this box, this little plastic be box. Like this. this is what it looks like. So because I order so much stuff, I had these boxes sitting around and then I just like, I had so many of them sitting around, um, so I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and, and make like something that would be somewhat matching matching this, right? And why? Because I can. Because I can. Because I could leave it like that and then but I don't want to. I don't want to. Okay, y'all, me and Bill are hooked on a series. A million, oh a million little things, y'all. A million little things. It's on Hulu. It's a series. Oh my goodness, we're still on season one. <laughs> Here's the thing with, with this one: we're it, still on season if one. If you like this is us, you're gonna love a million little things. It's cut out of the a same. A million cloth. little things. It's really, we're really enjoying it. It is very well done. Stephanie, hold on, Steph Tracy. Stephanie, uh you know what? Wait a minute. And she said, Tracy, will you use them as gift boxes? 
That's a good idea. So this is Stephanie Mormon says, I definitely have to get better at taking notes when I order something. So I still know why I was so excited about it when I bought it. <laughs> It's, it's 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 called the get the the Gensu knife complex, okay? You know when they did the, the Gensu knife. Oh, you were like, oh, I got to have this. Woo! I got to have that. The Gensu knife. They were showing all kind of stuff it could cut through. This, oh, they can cut through a can like I'm gonna cut through a can. Okay. <laughs> oh, I got to. Gotta have. If I have that, I can actually cut through a can. And he gonna throw in something. <laughs> That I don't need. They always throw in something. <laughs> it, it, it was like the um, what's that thing called? Oh, the little grater or something, or the onion slicer. Ooh. Oh, it's so good. So you're watching million little things. A million little things. Who said that? I'm trying to see it. Uh, who the person? It went by so quick. Okay. Yeah, we're really enjoying that. It is good, though. Yes, Susan Tracy, uh, Donna put the links, the vertical stamps, the vertical sentiment stamps. We may have some. But we may, we may uh, not. We, yeah, we had. We had we some had with three, Tracy said it. We had three left this, as of this morning, so I'm not even sure. This is the, the vertical stamp set. So these are the two that were released and we have, this is the vertical one. I have, I've been using it. So, and this is the, um, write, the write your own story. own story. So, yeah, these, are, this, this one is just about sold out. This one, we still have a few more. I didn't check this morning on this one. Oh, Stephanie Mormon has uh, an ego tank. She, I think she says she has a 2,500. Okay. Donna, you got that thing in before I can put it up. Donna. <laughs> this is what we got so far. On this. Zay, I'm serious. seriously. Million Little Things is so good. It really is. I was like. If you like I This Is Us, we you're going to love it. We started watching it. Yeah, This Is Us. Oh, my goodness. Talk about Tia Jerker. But this one got some Tia Jerker moments. You know what I like about both of This Is Us and A Million Little Things is that you can't help but look at each character as, as a real human being because they'll do things as as the series moves along where you'll love this particular character and hate the other one, then all of a sudden you start disliking the one you used to love and start liking the one you hated, and it flip-flops around all over the place. But you realize the reason you feel like that and the reason they're acting like that is because they're human beings. They're human beings, and they're they're responding to the different uh, situations in their life. Maybe not the way you would like to, but that's what makes them unique. Yes, crafting chaos with melody. It's relatable. It's very relatable. And even a lot of the relationships have so many, so much. Um... There's some drama and there's some, there's closeness, you know, it's like a, they're very close knit, but at the same time, um, yeah. Um, they, they have a lot, of, they got some stuff going on. <laughs> I think Captain Chaos with Melanie is watching it. Let me help and contact, uh, the, contact Epson. They're very good about getting back to you. And, and tell them what the problem is. The tech people. Somebody asked about vertical sentiments in Digi. That it that is available in Digi. Yes. I'll find that for you. 
but yes, we have it. Yes, that is available in Digi. And for those of you that um, uh, have asked me, I was just trying to answer some of the questions that I saw. But uh, one of the other questions was, is the utterly amazing stamp set, is that going to be a um, photopolymer? And the answer is yes. So for those of you that have been asking about that utterly amazing, this one right here, it's available in digital, but it will become, I guarantee you, this will become a photopolymer set. So don't you worry. So right now it's only available in digital. But this one is um, finishing up at the manufacturer and we'll be releasing this one as well. Yeah, we've been working to get them done, y'all. Yeah, Tan is asking, do we have any news from Nancy Winger? Nancy Winger. I uh, don't. What, was something going on with her? I don't, you know, like... Have, what have you heard, Yeah, Tan? Thank you, Melanie. Crafting Chaos So Melanie says, I absolutely love your new stamp sets. I'm playing with them right now. The oh. books are stunning. Oh my goodness! That yeah, that uh, that write your own story is something else. Amy, you and me both. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Sonny says, Tracy, put them towels down before I have to go tear that store oh. completely out. Oh my goodness, y'all are so funny, okay? Put them towels down right now. I'm sorry, y'all. I had just gotten a message from... Um, that my art glitter glue is on the way. So they're very fast at shipping. So yeah, I just got a message from them. So we, if, if it all goes well, we'll have those in the store by the middle, um, by the end of the week, by the end of the week. Alrighty. Okay, so this is what we got so far, y'all. Let me just move some space over here. So these, I think, would look cuter if I put them on. I just put them on here and cut and cut them out. All right. So all I'm gonna do is just glue this down. And then I'll cut, I'll cut around them. <laughs> so it looks like we'll be walking on the trail today with the grandson. That's one of the things he loves doing. And you know what this boy told me? What did he say? Remember, he, he's like, I don't like to walk. <clears throat> and then what we did was, not only did we walk, but we put I put on something motivational and uplifting. And we were both just walking side by side, listening to it. And he loved it. He loved it. And so he remembers that. He was like, are we going to get to do our walk on the trail? And I was like, we sure will. Grandmama body hurting, but yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> the little 
little box is looking looking cute, isn't it? So I'm just going to cut this out. And I'm going to put buttons on here because it looks like it needs buttons, right? And all this is part of the masculine collection. So even if you wanted to say, you know what, I'm going to do, I'll give this as a gift, right, for someone. Or look, so what if you made something like a masculine, maybe a Father's Day gift for someone, right? Or, and then filled it with little candies. I think if you use those flat candy bars, you know which one I'm talking about? There's some flat candy bar, like the smaller ones. And you just line them up. I think they can fit in here. Or if you put some candy in here and then maybe a, a gift card on top, that'll make a cute little birthday gift. It'll be different, right? Something like that. That's what I'm thinking. Wouldn't that be cute, babe? Put some candy bars in here. You know, those small miniature ones. And then put a gift card on top, right? Oh. To like something. I don't know. And then give that to someone. So that becomes your, your gift box or wrapping, you know? It's, it's so unique. And you can make like a bunch of these, you know? Now I'm looking at every single box in my craft room because I'm like, ooh, well, I could cover that. You got that could be something. Right. These are these are some other ones. Look at these, y'all. Those are big. These are much bigger. But you could cover these. Now you take those embellishments like those rosettes and you, you cover this with pretty paper. And then you add a rosette on top. You know, that's like if you're not doing like a masculine thing, you add a rosette on it, maybe a pretty ribbon, and then you fill it with something. And for you blingers, y'all can blink by this. And it could be a Mother's Day gift or, I mean, all of this, so many ideas with these. So many ideas. You know someone that loves cows, right? You remember I did the flower on this? Now you're going to take the flower, makes maybe take some paper and flower. I put yellow around here. Maybe take some paper like this. This is that spring paper. And you can do the same thing on this. And now take this off, this little flower thing. And, and maybe put a couple of these on there with some gems. Ooh, the idea. Shay says, where are those cases from? Well, when you order stuff, like embellishments or, and stuff, I think you can buy the cases without you even probably having can buy, You probably can buy I it. I bet you can buy these cases. Someone gets these cases from somewhere. But I remember stuff coming in them. And so now I have a pile of them. I have piles of these. So now I need to do something. I was like, I don't want to just leave them like this. I could cover these. So look around. You probably have them and don't even realize you have these in your, in your um, space. Get back to cutting these out real quick. Sonny Grill says, I use the clear boxes for my videos and use them for the embellishment. So I made for a certain paper doll for mine and scrapping's beliefs stamp set. Oh, what a good idea. Could be something you look, happy mail could be sent in that. And this is how thick this one is. So clear plastic cases. CD case. Someone says CD cases. Upcycling CD cases. I remember one time Tracy did a, a modified. Well, it, it's not a Misty, but she, somehow she got a CD case. Remember that? And you put some stamps on it or something. And you stamped it and we bent it over. On, and it, it kind of it was kind of cool how that worked out. It was like a CD case. I'm trying to remember. Okay, <laughs> did I do a tutorial on it? I don't know, but I remember you put you had a CD case. You put some stamps on it into a pattern that you like, because you were making about three cards, and you wanted them to be the same. And you just kind of. I was like, that is so cool, Judith T. Judith, I got excited because I, I drank some tea good. yesterday. Judah sent us some tea, y'all, and we're still drinking it. And still I she drinking sent it, it. Two years ago. Still drinking it. If that gives you any idea how much she actually said today. 
and the ones you put inside the little uh, what do you call that thing the tea ball i don't know what it's called oh my god i love those how many of y'all have the tea i don't know what you call it but the loose tea she sent us the whole I was like, oh my God, look at this one. Lucy is delicious. Just got to be careful when how much you put in there. Yes, Stephanie. Yes, Stephanie, what? She says, you mean to use instead of a stamping block? Yeah, but what I did, I, I, I think I took the piece of, I put something, uh, it was like a, I think it was some sort of a, uh, I that must have been way saw, back in the like, day because I don't even remember. Balsa board. It was like a thin wooden board or something stuck on the side of the of the uh, case. And I folded it over, closed it. I put the paper on top of it and then just folded it. Closed the case on it. Exactly. Jail so said she wanted to make a CD case misty, but she couldn't find a case. <laughs> Those are things like relics. You have to go to, uh, what is it called? Uh, Goodwill. A thrift store, maybe. Yeah. Thrift store would have one, I, I would think. I mean, you don't care what the song is. Just grab one of those old time ones. Throw the CD away. <laughs> like, I just the want case. the case. <laughs> right. That's such a crafting thing. A crafty move. Just use the case, right? We don't really want the part, this part of it. Yes, I think I did read it, Gaytan. Yep, Amy says you can craft with old CDs. Shay says Bigelow lemon ginger probiotic tea is the best. Mm, not lemon and ginger. That's my favorite. Yeah, you do like that. That is my favorite. Okay. I had some tea that uh, Judah gave us. There's a loose leaf, and I can't think of the name of it. It was so good. I should have kept me get the package because now I can't remember the name of the thing. Zell says exactly. No one cares about the CD, okay? <laughs> that can easily go in the garbage. That, that's a craft of Unless movie. Unless I decide to make something out of that too. You'd be looking at all <laughs> kinds of stuff and you're like, uh, <laughs> let me throw this out. Let me do what, throw what's in the container. Right, but you know what? Look at this right here. Like, uh, who was this to make these? Uh, someone took this, some old time uh, LPs and made something out of it. She's from Michigan. Oh my God, I can't believe I can't think of the name right off the top of my head. They're hanging on our wall, though. They're so awesome. I don't know what the record was, she did but I tell you what. She did a good job with us. She did a good right, job. Right, she with, with the records. Um, I think you could take it down. You think so? Yeah, it just has the um, thumbtack on there in the middle. Right, we, we want the, the thing to transform it so you can transform anything, really. Okay. This is what it used to be right here. Okay. Who made those for us, babe? I hate that I don't even it's remember who Michigan. made those. And they still, uh, rather. They still um, are in our... Okay, this is what it was at first. And then the other side, she transformed it. You gotta go all the way down. Oh man, who made this for us, babe? I need to start writing people's names and notes on it. Okay, so this is what she did with the record. So there's the hole there, and she tra she completely transformed it. Uh, yeah, I'll show you yours. I thought it was just the cutest thing. So we're talking about transformation. Like, and I hang neat. These are like right next to my plaque, my YouTube 100,000 subscriber plaque. They sit right on the wall, right next to it, because I love them. And she made one for, that was Bill. She made one for me as well. 
But this is taking stuff and you're just transforming it into something else. It's art. So there's no like, there's no mistakes in this. Here's the one she did for me. Is that not genius? Is that not genius? And I feel so bad. I gotta write this. I gotta write it. Lori, on the back. Lori. Oh well, my goodness, she's from Michigan. Lori, um, I can't believe I can't think of her name off the top of my head. I used to say play with all. You just cran tr transform it. I will transform it. Okay. The it's crafting and transforming. Right okay. It's called transform. <laughs> That's when you go beyond transform. You have to transform it, okay? Isn't that just the, the sweetest thing, though? So just I'm just saying that because take the CD case and you can cover it and make it art. You can make it into art, right? Go get the um the, the cutting board, the Dollar Tree cutting board. You're like, I don't know what I want to do um, with the Dollar Tree cutting board, but guess what? Stephanie says transform me transform it into something else. You remember this? Right? So you can take any of these papers, all those digital papers and stuff. The spring would look pretty. My mother has one of these um hanging on her wall, and my sister also has one um hanging on her wall. Remember that? Trans transformation. That is the thing. Transformation. Right? So the, these are the Dollar Tree cutting boards. You can have the kids do something. You got your grandkids with you. You want to make something. Transformation. Transformation. All the stuff that you have in your room, you can make something, transform it into something else. You have something that you have right now. Transcrafting. <laughs> it was a cutting board that wanted to be art. Yep. It was just waiting for you to do something with it. And this is what happened. This is what happened. Amy says this board knew it knew it this is heart and soul that it was missing. This is the art. Dollar Tree cutting board. We can get things and say, hey, what your transformation might look different than my transformation. Right? What you see might be different from what I see. But then you might say, you know what, I have that cutting board. Let me change it into something else. Right? This right here, who sent this to me? Oh my goodness, who sent this? Phil, I need to start writing people's names on these. Because look at this right here. Now, y'all know that the candle containers, right? Oh yeah, that was a great one. Right? The candle containers has those tops that go with them. So someone decided that they were going to send this to make this for me. Look at this right here. Look what she did with the top. Transformation. I'm trying to get y'all to understand. You have the stuff right in front of you right now. You're wondering, hey, what can I make? Wouldn't this be a beautiful Mother's Day gift for someone? Isn't this cute? Fill it with little candies or some, fill it with potpourri so mama can put it on her her desk or if you're making something for her your daughter or someone that you're just not sure. What's the back side of the light? Look how gorgeous that is. Look what she did. Look at the doily, the paper doily. Look at the ribbon. Oh my goodness, it's just so pretty. Look, that's a look, Amy said that's a girly bathroom q tip holder. Look, it cotton balls, q tips. Right now it's sitting on my shelf because I just absolutely love when I come into my room and I see all of the creativity. All the creativity. There's so much. Just Start and if you say, "Hey, can you use Mod Podge on it?" Try it and see if you can use Mod Podge on it. Right? What about the coffee container? Uh, let's see. 
Transformation, y'all. Y'all remember this, right? Well, I put roses in there now. I got I got artificial roses in this, and it sits on my shelf. This is the coffee container bottle. I took the top off of it, and I used the Dollar Tree napkin that has that, that Paris theme on it. And all I did was transformed it, and it sits on my shelf as a container. My mother has a ton of these because I've done these for her. And it's so fun. You have the Mod Posh. You have napkins. How many times have you seen a beautiful napkin and you're like, oh my goodness, that would be great to transform something into something else. Transformation. <laughs> she said, Zal, you said that's why you stay on Pinterest and YouTube trying to discover something. But if you over if you look about at so many things, you don't know where to start. You don't know where to start. It, it becomes like, oh my goodness, I'm overloaded and I have to start somewhere. Transformation, y'all. Let me let me show y'all another one. So, Shay says, I love transformation ideals. Look at this. Mason jar. You know how we love mason jars. Well, I don't have paper. You got ribbon. That's that Dollar Tree ribbon and some twine. And I remember doing this video a long time ago. And now this sits on like, I have a little shelf in the corner, like a gallery kind of inspiration shelf that sits right in the corner transform it y'all transform it i've seen people make take like uh pill boxes and make something out of the pill box transcrafting <laughs> transcrafting <it. sighs> just make it make it your own and have fun doing it and if you say, well, you know what? The art glitter glue didn't work for this. Let me try Mod, po Mod Podge, right? Just try it out. You have the stuff sitting in your craft room. You've got it sitting in your craft room. Okay, let's see. Y'all know y'all got them soap boxes. Don't throw that soap box out. Look at this, y'all. This is the soap box. I painted it white, and then I took like a lace ribbon that was on the bottom shelf in Walmart, and I took the lace ribbon. <laughs> I took the lace ribbon, and this is what I did with it. And put it over and it gave it a nice little texture. And then I had the nerve to take a little bottle. These all sit on my little gallery shelf, right? Color the bottle blue. These are at Dollar Tree, these little flower things, right? And now you take this and you transform it into something else. Is everything sticking down perfectly? No, but look how cute that is. Look how cute. It just gives it a whole nother texture. And now you've transformed. This is, I can't remember where I got this bot. This is like one of those little, um, one of the little, maybe drinking apple juice bottles or something like that. Transformation, y'all. Maybe we'll see, we could, see you maybe later, Donna. Do, maybe we need to do a transformation type thing, you know, like Donna has to run. Something with transforming stuff. Says, see, see you, Donna. Says, see you on Thursday. Look, look at this, y'all. Do y'all remember this? Look. Okay, so the paper beads, right? 
the paper beads, glue them all together, and this is what you get. Look at that. Okay, same thing with this. Take a different kind, all those scrap papers, right? All those scrap papers. It's just an uh, uh, what do you call this? An intermission. Trying to show y'all that you can transform just about anything. Glue them all together, right? Once you roll them up, you've seen how we roll those paper beads. So you're taking a straight piece of, of paper and now you're gluing them all together. You hot glue them all together now to form this flower-like thing. And then look what happens. You add some, some gems on them. And now what if you would just take this now and put it on top of one of your boxes? Now you've transformed the box into something completely different. I'm just saying. I'm trying to get y'all to think outside of the box. Outside of the box. Right? So now even you can run a string through this right here. If you was to if you said, you know what, I want to make some kind of charm like thing, you can actually run some type of like there's little holes in there. If you can see that, you can run a string through there. Oh, glue a magnet on the back of those. John, John Pound, look at John Pounds on here said Jill said. <laughs> Jill said, Jill has said, <laughs> that is so true. Look at that, y'all. Oh. Joy Brown is sneaking in into the work. Look at that. Sasha so Tracy, thank you. Thank you. I thought I had a sickness, but I was simply transforming. It wasn't even a word. You were transforming. I was already outside the box. We, that part is we, right. We transforming, y'all. <laughs> Joyce is... Look, quiet, Bill. scraps. Y'all know y'all got those scraps in there. Them sc Who has these strips of paper? Roll those bad boys up. Cut them all the same size. Roll them up. And glue some gems on them. Now you've got some, some beautiful jewels. I don't know. Someone can make like a little necklace out of this. Run something through here and here. And now you've got some kind of necklace. I don't know. Somebody's coming up with something. Exactly. Somebody's coming up with something. Now you take these and what if you glued these together? A bunch of these together. And now you have a ton of them. Wait a minute. I have a little one. Let me show y'all the little one. The little baby transformer. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the little tiny one. Look at the little baby one. How cute is that? How cute is that? And now you just glue a whole bunch of these together to see what you get, right? Would that not be beautiful? That looks upscale to me, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but that looked kind of ups, upscale. <laughs> Dawn said, look at that. <laughs> that looks kind of upscale to me. Seriously. I'm just saying, you y'all already, we already have it. We have the, everything that we need. We've got everything that we need. I didn't mean to get off cast there with y'all, but someone needs to know that they can they can transform just about anything. It's all about putting the glue on there and starting and, and getting outside of your head. Somebody needs to hear that. Somebody's stuck inside their head right now. Tina Barker says, I stay outside the box. Stay outside the box, okay? <laughs> Where I go, there is no box. Someone needs to hear that because they, they might be cutting a, in a slump. And and that's why I'm doing this now. I have no idea what I'm what I'm um, what it's going to look like in the end, but I'm sure that whatever it looks like, it's going to be perfect. And whoever receives it is going to be happy to receive it. Karen Nickerson says she smashed her box years ago. There you go. <laughs> and it cannot be prepared. 
Oh. Sam Sam says, cute handles for decorative paper boxes. Shay says, you have a natural creative mind. I'm amazed. Oh, thank you. I just kind of get started. And, and, and those are, all those are videos. They're videos like on mindless crafting, which used to be gift basket appeal. Okay, so now with this stuff here, I'm thinking about doing something here with this, like going all the way around it. Or is that too much? Never too much. Never too much. Let's see what this looks Don like. Thomas said someone needed to hear and that today. Someone need to hear that. You know, they might be stuck in a slump and just kind of wanting to do something, not sure what they can do. And it might take their mind off of their current situation. They might be going through some stuff, you know? And like, just because I'm going through stuff doesn't mean I can't make something beautiful. You can still make beautiful happen. Ooh, that's going to look pretty. This is that Dollar Tree. If you find this stuff at Dollar Tree, grab it up. Stephanie says, grab it up. It's still supposed to be a guy thing. It's not too much, is it? Depends what kind of guy you got. Well, I'm the one who's making this stuff for the guy. <laughs> so take this blame, guy. Yeah. I'm not giving it to a guy. It's more than likely going to end up in the hands of a, a lady right? A crafter who's making it for her guy. And she will end up keeping it for herself. <laughs> Bill is the one who said to add the I like it. it. Hold on. Let me tell you from a guy perspective, I would enjoy that. I would enjoy that because I get the guy feel from this, but the, the blingy just makes me say, whoa, I got me some bling. <laughs> well, let's see what it looks like at the end, Stephanie. Then I know for sure. Let's see what happens at the end. Amy says, well, just because the colors are masculine doesn't mean it has to go to a man. That's true. I love the way these colors look. If someone made me a card with these colors, I would love it. You know what I'm saying, Stephanie says, she, she, Stephanie says oh, Bill, you feel bling deprived. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's bling deprived. It's gonna be cool, can't you tell? Hi, Carolyn Watson. So I'm working around this opening, y'all, because what'll happen is let's see. You have to be careful because if you put it over that, this, you know, that's what happens. You got to make sure that you stay clear of this part. I think that might work, huh? Just giving y'all a little something, something. Trying to spark inspiration here. And it's not even done yet. Look, we may have some have to make some of that um, those those uh, paper beads that I just showed y'all. Stephanie um, says for, for um, the scraps. This is so distracting in a happy way. I'm not making much progress with putting away my stuff. <laughs> it's your fault, Tracy. You're fired. <sighs> Thank you. Mission accomplished. Stephanie, I fired her for you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Stephanie is not going to fire me. Stephanie, my friend. You know that we have more than 500 different 
crafts going on at once, okay? Ooh. Tom Pound says, Jill showed me some cards she made, and Ooh. I told her that would look good with the vertical, so she, she ordered them. That's going to be cute. That's so cute. That is cute. I'm going to tell you something. A guy will get that. This is not going to a guy, Bill. Look, I, you can say that to me. I'm not sending it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Send it to me. So imagine putting one of these together and then making something for like your crafty friend where they can get some of the samples of the stuff that you made in this box. So you put the buttons in here, you put these in here, you put the buttons, you put a couple of these in here, you put some of the tags and stuff in here. So now you're making, and then this can't fit, no problem. You take it off the spool, cut them up and put a couple of these strips in there too. Stephanie. You see what I'm saying? So now you're tying a whole thing, a whole theme together. Stephanie Mormon says, are you going to put the name of the recipient on the top label? Then that would be a good idea. That would be a great a idea. Yeah. Wouldn't that be a good idea? Huh? Look, you think, see, my, the wheels are turning. Why you got the wheels turning now? <laughs> Stephanie says, no, I'm not in the you firing habit. Martha, this, so this, didn't, fire this didn't come from Dollar Tree, but you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking there's some stuff that we could look around Dollar Tree and find that we can cover. I'm thinking there's some containers. I bet you there's some, I bet you there's some stuff. It's now got I'm, to be. Now that I'm thinking, this did not come from... John this says, now I'm going to mess around. I have to shop for something on Amazon just to get one of those boxes. And, and I've had these sitting there, and I was like, I can't. I, But I can do like, like say I did a giveaway, right? Like we do giveaways during our mindless crafting at midnight. And say this can be one of the giveaways, right? For the, um, this could be one of the giveaways. See what I'm saying? And then you fill it with all kind of little crafty goodies and stuff. I've seen stuff. The the clear round containers that brand name um, tapes come in. You're so right, John. I actually have one of those. I have one of those. Look, I got this. Someone sent me. Someone sent me this right here. This container. And I bet that. Even though this is not like flat, flat, I can still do something to make this look cute. Y'all got these containers. Someone said a live stream from Dollar Tree. <laughs> a live stream from Dollar Tree, Bill, someone said. Mm -hmm. We haven't done one of those in a long time. Once they went to Dollar 25 Tree, I was like, okay. Raylan, we've done Dollar Tree live streams. They turned out to be some of the Dollar funniest. Some of the funniest live streams. A gift card would fit in the box too. Oh, wait. I don't know what that. But you still work Okay, so let's see what we got here. Y'all probably like if she don't hurry up and finish this box and get off this live. <laughs> Okay, so you see how that is. So it doesn't like kind of will connect. It kind of will connect on there. Let's just, just glue it, glue it down, and then cut it after the fact of the matter. Um, I'm more of a glue and cut. I mean, cut first and then glue it down. Look, I'm I'm gonna have to do something on Thursday. Oh no, Bill, you're crafting something on Thursday. I okay. am. Never mind, man. It's Stephanie Williamson is messing with me. You you want to transform one of these? Well, on Thursday. I don't know. Yeah. You want to? I could find something for Bill to transform. Thursday. Mm. Now, let me clean off my desk. All my let me clean my desk all the way off of it. 
Would y'all like to see Bill transform uh, something on Thursday? Mm. All uh, I'm thinking is my craft room is going to be a, a hot mess. It's going to be improved, <laughs> greatly improved. See, they would love to, Shauna says, they, yeah, they would love to see you transform something, Bill. Amy says, time to transcraft. Transcraft with Bill. Transcraft with Bill. Y'all be coming up with stuff. Okay, transcraft. And then at least Thursday, I will have the official date for Mindless Crafting at midnight. It will be official. Cute. Cute. So this part is a little bit, the top piece is a little bit more slender than the bottom piece. So you guys ever stay up so long that when you finally do go to sleep, when you wake up, you try to open your eyes and they feel like they're stuck together. That's some good sleep there, I think. Your eyes are acting like, look, you think I'm going to open just because you kept me up all this time and now you want to open up? I don't <laughs> think so, okay? I need to go back to Dollar Tree and find out if they have any more of that, um, any more of this in there. Thank you, Zale Storm, here at Hankerson, and everybody else, Stephanie. What'd they say? Bill, you they got say this. I'm crapping on Thursday. Bill's crafting on Thursday. It's decided. Amy, I experience that all the time. She says, have you ever stayed up so long that when you do go to bed, you can't sleep? Guess what, every night? Hi, Jenny's getting icky with it. Bill, you know you can sleep, okay? And I got the proof, so don't even try. Hmm. Child, this, this man can snore. Ah. Oh. It's not that bad. Me and Strawberry are sleep deprived, okay? We're having to take naps during the, na the daytime. <laughs> I'm talking ah. about when I say snore, I have it on tape. So he can't say. He The other day he said, I, I <laughs> the other night, like two nights ago, he was going in on some sleep. And I was like, I was like, I'm going to tape him. Because what else am I doing? It. I'm, I'm not asleep. <laughs> so, so why not? I tried to do everything. I tried to put on the, the waves. You know, because I like the rain sound. I said I like the beach, wa beach waves. Those usually get me to sleep. Yeah, you should have some snoring waves. I just could not. I could not get to sleep. So I was like, let me go ahead and tape him. I got it on recording, y'all. And it, it's it's a hot mess. It is a hot mess. Okay. I said I'm gonna play this for him, and then he he had the nerve to say, "Is that me? <laughs> Who else would it be?" <laughs> I, I thought it was strawberry. <laughs> is that me? Hold on. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. You can tell when you've been snoring loud when you hear yourself. Has that ever happened to anyone? You hear something like, "Oh my God, what is that?" And it even wakes you up. It didn't wake you up, babe. It wasn't bad enough. <laughs> that must have been a mild. It one. didn't wake you up. Right, Stephanie, I'm telling you. She Part says, of me was looking over at my husband, and I was saying, I'd like to strangle him right now. <laughs> <laughs> All kind of thoughts go through your head at 2 or 3 in the morning. And then he wakes up refreshed and asks, how did you sleep? Why you have those bags under your eyes? That's why I had to get out the phone. You see what I'm saying, y'all? Ooh. Ooh, y'all, look at... Ooh. Ooh, look out. I don't know if I have enough... Do I have enough tape for this, man? I'm about to find out. About to find out. I don't think there's enough tape on the spool for this. Yeah, if, if, I'll have to if put, you can at least get that side. If I right get the there. side, I, I'll use paper on the. I'll have to use paper on the front, I think, because it's just about. Oh, might have some. We'll see. 
the front is a little bit tricky because of all of this stuff and then pulling this out to open it like pulling this up to open it gets a little bit tricky but we'll see <laughs> Bertha jab him in the side I've tried that and then it starts up again it starts up again Jenny says what are you making I might need one she took a plastic case, kind of like this, and she's... I'm transforming it. She's transforming it. And more than likely, you have a... I'm going to go... Look, I'm going to have to go to Dollar Tree. We're going to have to do a live at Dollar Tree at some point, y'all, and go look at the plastic cases. Hold up. RC Junk says, Bill should be able to qualify for a sleep study through the VA, which I had three years ago. He had one already. And get a CPAP machine he had, through the VA, he, which I'm still, still waiting, waiting on. He's still waiting on it, yep. My Not late good. husband did it. It was a miracle worker for both of us. Mm. They said I had extreme sleep apnea, and I'm still waiting on the machine. Okay? I thought that he should possibly, the way they had scored him on that sleep apnea test, they were like, yeah. Mindless crafting transformers, y'all. I'm thinking Bill should get some kind of disability for that because that's just oof. Mm -mm -mm. And I need to get some disability because I can't sleep. <laughs> the machine coming like Tracy. I don't feel like putting on the machine. Please. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna have the machine like, on. Looking okay. like an alien. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you gonna Nothing have works for me. Some people like put earplugs in, but then I feel so uncomfortable with something in my ear sleeping. You know, it's just whoo. So say Spencer just woke up. Wake up, Cecilia. Cecilia just woke up. Probably because somebody was snoring in the house. <laughs> hmm. Uh, this is not bad at oh you could drop some little the flat tea bags in here too oh all these little ideas you can make one a tea theme you can make a tea theme little case right we have that tea stamp set oh there's so much we could do with this we got the coffee makes you happy Stamp, right? That would look cute, too. Hmm. Just thinking, y'all. Just thinking outside the box. I think our scrap -a -thon, we may have to do those paper beads. Stephanie says, if she tries to, if she tries to put earplugs in, her own, her own heartbeat starts to be too loud. She can even hear that. Right. Huh? That part. I can I can see that. Yep. So the only choice I have is to strangle you. Art CC Jack <laughs> says, I agree with you, Tracy. <laughs> we should get hazard pay for the lack of sleep. Exactly. <laughs> How did you sleep, darling? Mm. I just have to look at over at him sometimes, like I tell you what, Tracy did a video and strawberries look Absolutely distraught, didn't she? She looked like, please, please. I was like, well, I'm up at five in the morning. Might as well go ahead and go head to the gym. Please get him out. The other morning, it was so early. I was like, I know she don't think she getting up. Who, me? Yeah. I didn't go to sleep. What do you mean, get up? <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't gone I down know, yet. You don't think you better go to the gym. He, he talking about, it's I know. dark, all kind of stuff. Wait, it's dark. It's still dark out. I was like, let's it's go. Dark. I, I said, since I'm up already, might as well go no, to the gym. Oh, it's dark. Mm. I want to use that as my reason not to go. It's dark. You slept enough already. That is so... That is so cute. Oh my goodness, y'all. Came out pretty good. Ooh, Bill. Yeah, M. Sim says they have his and hers matching CPAPs. I don't need one. Mm -mm. Bill did me in, y'all. Thank you, Carmina. This would look so cute. And then we just put. 
Put little things in what? here. Put little trinkets. We broke the record even without Jill Pound's card. Huh? But Jill says, I did not get to submit the credit for that. But I do want to try the Joyful card. Nice. Oh, that was the, the um challenge. I was on there for a little bit. I couldn't oh, stay. Oh, that was the last one. I couldn't stay um, okay. long, but I thought I had good parameters. I mean, how long? I've been waiting about three years. At the time, they were saying they had, it was a serious backup and shortage. And then when COVID hit, it just, just got absolutely insane. There's a lot of people in need of those machines. But if you're on the severe spectrum. But by now, they should be caught you up. You should have had okay? yours, okay. They should be caught up by now. You can't blame it on it now. It's been, been a while. Is that blue or green glitter ribbon? This is a green. This one is a, a black, right? The green, a black, and if so, if you see this in Dollar Tree, I don't see it anymore since I got it. But if you see these, pick them up, okay? And these are adhesive. These are adhesive um, glitter ribbon. Stephanie says, "On the loving Here's side." Here's the other one. I call it scaring away wild, scaring away wild animals. And once I worked with Tracy, saw. Look, so while this I'm huge uh, thing on the fence the other day. Let me tell the story. Okay, while I'm awake at two o'clock at three o'clock in the morning, I know where to sleep because I'm I was snoring. like, Well, let me do a little bit of tidying up. You know, the grandson is here and all of that, right? Strawberry comes down, so I said, Okay, I'll hit, I'll do everything at one, you know, all in one. Let her to go, go out. It's about, about three in the morning. I let her out. And then I hear all this tussling in the backyard and growling. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to get the broomstick, run out there and hit whatever it is that Strawberry's fighting with. Let me show y'all what I saw, okay? <laughs> I got it on my phone. I'm gonna show y'all what I saw. I was like, Tracy what? saw me, Tracy showed me the picture. I was like, what in the world is that? I'm tussling with, I'm looking outside and I see this thing hovering over the fence. Our fence is like, our wooden fence in the backyard is it's like... about eight feet tall. Right. Seven, so I'm like, what is that hovering? I saw the branch shaking and Strawberry was over there just like, I don't know if it ran or what. So I couldn't get a good picture. So I ran upstairs. I said, let me get a good view because I thought the thing was looking at me. <laughs> you know? It stayed there. Despite the crowd. <sighs> and Strawberry acting the fool trying to get it. It's so okay. Cool, Someone said, Tracy, I'm always up at 3 a.m. Uh, we we could get get in a group, right? Because I should go live. Nobody going to be. I, I might want to go live, huh? So this is in the trees, y'all. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can find a good picture. So I go upstairs to the upstairs bathroom, and I see this, y'all. I see this right here. Oh, and I'm like, I, I'm like, why is it so tall? Hold on one minute. Hold on. Hold on, babe. I, I went and got a, a closer picture of it. So this is hovering in the tree. You see that thing right there? That little, this right here. So at night, that looks bigger. It was still dark enough where I couldn't really see it, even though the um, we have the, um, what's those lights called? The sensor light that come on in the back. <laughs> I'm like, why is all this stuff happening? So I went upstairs and got a closer picture of it, y'all. Look, look at that. Because I was like, Bill is not going to believe me. Meanwhile, he upstairs snoring. <laughs> He's upstairs snoring. Getting his sleep on. I'm up at 3 in the morning chasing some and random... Thing, me and Strawberry trying to chase random animals in the backyard. half the size of Strawberry. <laughs> Strawberry almost 80 pounds, okay? <laughs> That thing might have been about a 40 you, pound possum. You can't make this stuff up. I need, and the thing was, it must have been on a branch that was shaking. So I thought it was like something larger that was looking at me. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's out there and I'm in here, okay? So um, the yeah, cat that, the cat decides she want to go out at 3 a.m. in the morning. I was like, oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. And then, and then um, Gooby gets up. Now Gooby wants to go outside. Mm -mm. Now you ain't been going to go outside. Now you want to go outside. Okay. Gooby wants to go outside 
right now. So I was like, okay, if I let Gooby out, I had to like look up like do do possums eat like you know Tracy like, had animals, to start like, researching like, like Gooby. It was the I said, library. I said there. Gooby might not be. He too old to fight fight a possum off. And so I said, okay, so what about if Strawberry goes out? Look, Strawberry was not letting Gooby go out there without her. Strawberry was on it. When I tell you that dog will guard the other pets in the house, she does not play. But what what scared me, though, was the possum wouldn't move. Even though Strawberry was was trying to climb up and get it, it wouldn't move, okay? Hold on. And then (laughs) after that, we had the nerve. We were so inspired. We watched the episode of Martin. (laughs) When that when that possum was in the room, y'all remember that one? Was that a possum? Oh my god, that was the funniest thing. <laughs> that was the next day when Bill woke right. up. <laughs> when Bill woke up, he thought about let's watch this, okay? <laughs> I'm still tired from the night before. <sighs> oh my goodness, I'm just like John said. Um, he said, we have those, too. Raccoons are being fed in our neighborhoods. Hold By who? Hold <laughs> up. Stephanie's talking about our possum is in Australia are more beautiful looking. They couldn't be even worse, okay? No. Nah. This was, thing looks a, like, a, like a, a ghoul. That's a possum at night, okay? I'm sure it looks pretty cute in the daytime. But um, Bill talking about, yeah, now we're going to watch such and such. I'm too tired to watch anything because I've been up all night chasing possums. <laughs> I tell you what, that 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 Martin episode with the possum or rat or whatever, that was the funniest thing. Oh my goodness. That might have been his funniest episode. <laughs> I laughed so hard that I had tears, okay? And here I am standing there with the broomstick, right? Because Strawberry, when he when he went out, I heard him. I heard Strawberry. I heard her tuss it seemed like it sounded like she was tussling with something. So I was looking to see if she had been bitten or something, you know, like Cause she likes to chase like squirrels and all kind of stuff, but has never caught it. <sighs> anyway, Cindy, you look, you look, you look, you look Carmina, too friendly with your animals. Carmina, Carmina said, "Not Bill, Tracy. You need a disability Hold from PTSD." Hold on, Trent. No, listen, to Cindy Piper, Tracy. Cindy Piper, come <sighs> out. I looked out the front row window the other night and the coon was looking in it and from the porch so I waved at it. And I waved at it. I waved at it. What? <laughs> Woo! Please, y'all gotta stop. I waved at it. Y'all gotta stop. It wasn't funny. I waved at it from underneath my bed with the oh. door locked. Everybody in the house Please, sleep. Them out. We sleeping while we are in the back fighting off animals. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you as ass. She said, I ain't waving at nothing, okay? Wave at it. So I go upstairs, Bill still sleep. I'm thinking he, he has got, because I'm running with my camera like, I got to take a picture of this because nobody's going to believe this. And that way I can get a good look at whatever it was. <laughs> oh, I saw a Carmita. Oh Wait, my goodness. Unless you said a different one. Hold on, let's see. <sighs> Tracy read it when she's talking about Tracy needs the disability from PTSD. <laughs> <sighs> I'm getting PTSD just thinking about it. I come back upstairs with my camera to get a, a picture. And then I run back downstairs because Strawberry was still outside. And then I run back upstairs. Bill's still sleeping, y'all. Stephanie said, look, I feel your pain. I'm dealing with kangaroos and emus. Right here, okay. <laughs> Give me a possum, all right? <laughs> I saw a picture of a kangaroo. Hold oh. on. Let me see your phone. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Stephanie, if you deal with what I'm about to show you, <sighs> I really feel for you, okay? Hold Can up. y'all hear it in my voice? That was story time for today, y'all. That was story time. Hold up. I got to find My it. husband's still up here. <sighs> Yeah, let me show them what my oh, what oh, you oh, were doing. Oh, I need to show I, I them just, what I you were doing, okay? I come upstairs. He's still asleep because I was going to say, Bill, did you hit? But I didn't want to wake him up. Y'all, I still wanted my husband to sleep 
comfortably while I was chasing things off. Okay? Stephanie, are you dealing with this? <laughs> <laughs> My next question to you is, when are you moving, okay? When? <laughs> Please. <laughs> I do not think so, okay? <laughs> I got to look out and see this. You don't have to look up. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I, I wish I would have to leave the country if that was running around. Bill, you, you'd be sleeping. I have to leave the continent or something. What I can't stay on the country like that. <laughs> Give me a possum, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi, right, Joe Brown. Oh my goodness, y'all got to stop. Y'all stop, okay? We're supposed to be we supposed to be talking about transformation. Y'all got me over here just crying. That's Stephanie Williams running around with a kangaroo and stuff, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie Glover talking about Tracy and Strawberry protecting the family <laughs> as they sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie Williams running around with a kangaroo and stuff, okay? Oh my goodness. Stephanie Williams running around with a kangaroo and That's why when he woke up that morning, like, how did you sleep? I did it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and ask. <laughs> Let's go to the gym. <laughs> Please. Can we wait the daytime? Right. No, we can't. The kangaroo is outside. Please. Really? They have razor sharp teeth. Who? M. Sims, thanks for telling Who me. Who has that? that? Possums. Oh. Please. I know I ain't gonna. Know. And then, of course... Finally, when the grandson wakes up, he's like, oh, possums, oh, they can eat small animals. So they probably would eat, they probably would eat Gooby. <laughs> they have a bite for us. I'm like, look, I man. Know, he was giving us the whole hey. scientific rundown, okay? <sighs> uh, where's the, the, the snoring? <sighs> I wasn't going to share this, Bill. I was just using this for my own. Um... <laughs> oh, my goodness, y'all. I just can't. You can't make this stuff up. This is our, our boring lives, okay? This is it. Meanwhile, I come upstairs right after chasing down the possum to this. You can see it. Y'all hear that? They can't see you anyway, babe. It's just I know, dark. but I want to see that, see Cinnamon's face. Cinnamon, they can't see Cinnamon. Oh, either. he ain't on that one. Okay. This is what I come upstairs to, and it's much louder than that. But he gave me permission to show it, so. Ah, <laughs> that wasn't that bad. Wait a minute, Tina. They had. Look what Tina said. My friend had a possum and a baby possum get into her what? kitchen. That's Bill snoring, Crystal. <sighs> he does. He needs a CPAP. Where's the he, one he with needs it strawberry, like, Tracy? He needs it ASAP, okay? Because um, I need some sleep. He doesn't do it all the time, but there's times when it's like really bad. See if I can find the one with you, Bill. And then we got to go. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm. <laughs> Pam, Pam, look. This is... <laughs> it's always story time at the house, okay? Always. This is how it is when we get on the phone with my sister and her husband. Crystal said they have CPAPs that can fit on the wrist or something. Really? So what? One, which one are they sending to you? Yeah, I don't, they need to send you I the most no advanced. Idea. 
model. Okay. So you put me in a chamber. One of the Michael Jackson sleep chambers. Here it is, y'all. Be close. You see Strawberry's face? Okay, they get that deal. You cut out now, man. I'm about to go check in the hotel, okay? <laughs> <You better not. laughs> I'm going to go into some, what's the, like, the most, <laughs> uh, most ritzy hotel. <laughs> I'm going to check in <laughs> into the most ritzy hotel with the spa treatment, okay? <laughs> Tiny Monster, they have to have a new CPAP. <laughs> <laughs> Look, does Amazon have a, a CPAP machine on there? Okay. This, that just cracks me up right now. <sighs> I just have to. I couldn't help but tell y'all about that one. Anyway, Bill will be crafting <laughs> on Thursday, y'all. <laughs> Bill will be the one crafting. Oh, my goodness. That was hilarious. I can laugh about it now. I wasn't laughing that night. <laughs> <sighs> Hopefully someone on here can feel my pain. Norma said she would have nightmares in that. <laughs> Listen to that. <sighs> Bill was like, was it that loud? So I had to show him the video. I had to show him the video. The only time I snore is when I'm like extremely tired, but I'm a pretty quiet sleeper. Bonnie said she feels your pain. It's like sleeping with Joey. <laughs> Joey! <sighs> yeah, I always ask Bill for permission. I never put his stuff out there on social media. He's like, yeah, post it. Like, okay. It was funny. Y'all, this, the was, one this, was, this, this was, was hilarious. I, I needed that laughter, y'all. This was hilarious. I'm going to go spend time with the grandson this afternoon. And uh, we got to make a post office run and um, possibly hit the trail. I'll be walking extremely slow on Look, the trail. I'll tell you what, take I'm your like, pick. Ooh. You can have my snoring or Stephanie Williamson's kangaroo. I'll take the kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> ah, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, really? Crystal said her brother has one. And your dog, Stephanie says her dogs do too. Oh, Stephanie doesn't bother me. I know, I know I'm not the first person to snow out here. When I saw it, I was, it was so funny. You said what doesn't bother you? The fact that, that we showed it. The snoring. Not at all. <sighs> Susan says she snores so bad that she woke herself up. I'm one of those quiet sleepers. And, but 
if I'm like really tired, then I I know I snore if I'm tired. Yeah, it's rare, but when you do, you do. Mm hmm. Stephanie said her husband would go ballistic if you showed it. Come <laughs> I mean, here, tell me I can hear you saying, "Look, dear Lord, please help me tonight." <laughs> exactly. That's all right. The possum kept kept me busy. You know what, Crystal? I can believe that. Okay, Crystal says, why we can still be tired in the morning, even though we think we slept all night? Because I have days. So I'm, just, well, I'm so tired. You know what I'm saying? Seriously. Tracy turned to me like, please. Let I'm me. looking at him like, really? Yeah, but I do feel it. Now that you mention it. I tried looking at crafty Selena videos. said, now she sees why the possum was looking. He was trying to sleep. <laughs> Selena G, you're even, fire. Even the outdoor animals. And I scared the possum. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> y'all, yeah. this was fun. I, I think I'm going to be adding more stuff to this box. I think paper is the way to go as far as the front of this, but I'm not going to really be overthinking it, you know? I'm not going to open it. Bill, Bill is going to do something on, on Thursday, right, babe? Yes. He's going to do something. First of all, Stephanie. Okay, Stephanie talking about kangaroos so quiet, all you hear is them hopping and eating grass. If I'm close Dude. enough to hear them hopping and eating, eating some grass, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm just a little too close, okay? All you hear. All I hear is them hopping and eating grass. Are you kidding me? <laughs> ah, that picture, look, that picture that Bill just showed <laughs> of that kangaroo, and just imagine it's something like that eating grass. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, Stephanie. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Selena, that was a that good one. is hilarious. Okay, y'all are too Selena funny. Was funny. <laughs> y'all are just too funny. Seriously, Ooh, that was a good, one, Selena. You know what? On the inside, if this is gonna be a gift, right? So say on the inside. Oop, look at that. <laughs> on the inside, I'm gonna have to fix that. Uh, what about on the inside? If I add a quote in here, wouldn't that be that would be nice to add a quote on the inside? Now let me go finish, fix this thing back again. Okay. A little more Mod Podge on there. You see how it came off a little bit? You know what, Kim Worthen, I think I saw that video. Tim says, pull up a video of the man punching the kangaroo who was drowning his dog. Mm. Kim, I think I saw that. And you know what? Eventually, the man went home. Didn't the kangaroo follow him back? Or something? Kangaroo followed him for miles. Mm. And the next thing you know, the kangaroo was standing right outside, right outside his, his window. He had a window pane, like like in, in the in the patio area or something. Oh, Stephanie said kangaroos don't go near too close to humans this one went near human okay <laughs> so M. Sim M. Sim says, phone, M. Sim okay? says she laughed so hard <laughs> her, her sides hurt me too i feel like i've been running on the treadmill i laughed so much this was <laughs> <laughs> y'all y'all are just too y'all are hilarious okay that's stephanie messing with me 
I think I'm going to Mod Podge this right along the edge yeah. here. <laughs> you could just imagine what it would probably sound like to hear a, a kangaroo hopping. In the brush. In the dark, okay? It's in the brush, babe. Imagine what that sounded like. So Leave Kanga alone. So we think it sounded like some springs. Like spring, boing. It ain't like that, I'm sure. Where it's Stephanie is, they don't come close. <laughs> That's because Stephanie probably be running. She don't tell us about her. <laughs> She'll be in her car driving off into the Look, you will hear me running through the... You'll hear some human running through the brush, okay? I'll have stickers and, and stuff all over me. I'll have bushes all through my hair. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all are hilarious. I can't with y'all anymore. This was not the way this was supposed to go. We were supposed to get on here, talk about transforming this box, and then get off, okay? Y'all got to go way down, this, down the road to talk about some possums. I forgot that story. I was trying to forget. That's hilarious. All right. All righty, y'all. I'm gonna hit I'm gonna calm myself by fussy cutting, okay? I'm gonna go mess with Adonis. Yeah, we gotta go actually gotta go to the post office. And then um we gonna hit the trail. We'll see. Eileen, God had a different plan. He knew he knew we needed some laughter today, didn't he? Somebody on here is feeling a little bit better because they laughed. They they had a good laugh. And if you're re-watching this, I hope you had an absolutely real good down home belly laugh. Because laughter is is like medicine. Okay. Laughter is like medicine. And sometimes you just have to have that release. You just have to have that release sometimes and just say, you know, I know I'm going through stuff. I know I'm going through stuff, but I just need a good laugh. And so hopefully this gave you a good laugh. I need some relief. And sometimes the relief comes through laughter. Hold up. <laughs> what well, happened? You know how close a kangaroo got to be to you to hear him eating. <laughs> You're still talking about that. Think about it, okay? Think, think about the last time you were sitting at a table and you heard a family member eating. How close you had to be for you to say, you sure eating loud. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kanga, can you like close your mouth? <laughs> can you close your mouth when you're eating? <sighs> okay, enough of that. <laughs> Oh my goodness! This was fun. I, I'm so I needed that laugh. This this was fun. Thank Bill you, Jenny. Bill can hardly breathe. Okay, breathe again. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, I'm so glad that y'all. <laughs> Bonnie said, "Stop smacking, sir." The kangaroo look at you like. <laughs> Look, I'm not trying to even stop to have a conversation. As soon as I hear eating in the distance, oh, I'm yeah. out. I'm breaking world records. Hopefully, I've already I'm a set, I'll be in the house. I'll set a world record, okay? Stephanie telling my kangaroo's cute to eat grass. <laughs> That's like the lady, remember, uh, who was it? Somebody was... <laughs> We were talking about snakes one day. Hey, Rue. And I saw this huge <laughs> snake in the backyard, and I was telling the group about it. And somebody said, well, what mm. color were the eyes? Did you see the eyes? I'm no, like, if, the, if the yellow stripe is next to the red stripe. I'm like, it has eyes? That's what one of my co-workers <laughs> was saying. They I wasn't like, trying to see no eyes on no big snake. This woman was a, a snake uh, enthusiast at work, and she was like, well, Tracy, you know, uh, the snake wasn't poisonous if the red stripe was next to the yellow I'm stripe. Not and the no stripes and no I was like, I didn't. She's like, was it such a such? Mm -mm. I'm not going to be hanging around looking to see. <laughs> hey, snake. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, anyway. <laughs> uh, uh. 
<laughs> Zal said, what stripes? <laughs> exactly, Zal, you know what I'm talking about. Stripes. <laughs> if, it, if it bites you, if it bites you, it might not be that poison. If it bites you, you think it'll be close enough for something like that to happen? What's the mountain over there that we used to climb up over oh, there? Kennesaw. Kennesaw Mountain, right? I was fine until my that same coworker said, well, be careful of the black runner snake. And I'm like, the black runner snake? She said, yeah, they're usually like in the pile of leaves. You know that once There's she... leaves everywhere. Once she said that... I don't think we I said, what do you mean the black runner? She said, like, like... I said, so if I, like, was, was like, running... She said it moves really fast. I think she said 40 miles an hour or something. I don't know how fast she said it. <laughs> she ain't say that, But dude. the name got me. When she, said, but when she said wrong, actually, when she said beware of the snake, that was it pretty much. I was like. That was pretty much ever, it And then right after there, that, okay. going back on that trail, I was looking. She's like, it usually hides up in the in the Oh, leaf, no. I'm In done. the pile of leaves. I was like. We need to go to the indoor running facility. Earth. Okay. Okay. We need to indoor what running gym. Earth? Okay. Mm-mm-mm. Thank you, Tina Barker. You know what I'm talking about? New South Wales has the red belly. What in the so world dangerous. is that? That sounds like it. The name Look, sounds like it. Sometimes wrong. less information is more. <laughs> less information is more, y'all. This actually looks kind of cute. When I now I look at the side of this, look at that. The only cute kangaroo was on Bugs Bunny. <laughs> you know? That's what it was. They made them look so cute. They really did. They made them look so cute on Bugs Bunny. That, that's where they got us. And we found out, didn't we? Oh. <sighs> Tanisha, honestly, Tanisha, I don't do snakes. Let me tell you something. Tanisha, I jump out a window. Mm, mm, mm. It could be a 10 story building. I would jump out the window. Mm. Look. <sighs> Stephanie says sometimes it can be it it can be a, a blessing to live in Germany. You're far away from all the good crafting deals. But you're what? what also you? far away from earthquakes and snakes. Wow. <laughs> Germany looks kind of good right about that, ain't it? I got to have my crafting deals. Bring on the snakes and the kangaroos. Bring on the snakes, the roos, and the possums, okay? <laughs> crafting deal? Tanisha said, Bill, I'll be yeah. right behind you on jumping out the window first. The red belly snake is very poisonous. I bet. It's when people go and they look at it, they're like, oh, look at that. That's uh. look, Bill will be doing that cartoon run where you don't even touch the ground. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So I've been doing the Spike Lee walk, you know, where he where people just kind of float. floating. Oh my goodness! Well, this turned out cute. We're gonna go ahead and, and log off of here, y'all, because I gotta compose myself. I gotta go play with Adonis. I was that was hilarious. We should take him to the post office with us, huh? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, let's take him with us so he can see. He's gonna hate being away from his. He can see his game thing, but oh well. He probably gonna take it with him, but not, not no. today. He, that that gaming thing will not not come out of the house. Uh, thank you all for the laughs and the tutorial. You're welcome. I feel like we hardly did much of anything. But we're going to be the transformers, right? We're going to take things and transform it, and hopefully you'll put it in the group. Oh, koalas are so cute. But I hope koala are koalas friendly. Look, <laughs> koalas are the cutest. You know what? Everybody that say Be that beavers look cute too. Anything that you didn't mention, if they start walking towards you too little too fast, we'll all be running. Beavers are cute too. 
If you saw one year open the door, saw a beaver in the room right mm. now. Oh, would you say, no. oh, it's so cute? Would you run it? I was strawberry, it strawberry will run it down. Yeah, strawberry be in heaven. Tell Adonis we all said hello. I should, we sure will. We sure will. I will say hello to him. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the afternoon. Tracy, bye. Time to time for you to get off. I'll have PTSD. Hello. Exactly. Me too. All right, y'all. Y'all take care, and we'll see you on the next live. Bill is going to be transforming on Thursday. Transformation Thanks Thursday. Thanks to Stephanie. <laughs> right, bye.